Welcome everyone. We are from the Sabah Sarawak Rights Australia and New Zealand NGO. Uh, my name is Robert Pei and I'm the president of the SSRANZ. Today we're here to really on issues concerning Malaysia. The following issues we want to raise here today are one, the ethnic cleansing and demographic uh, structure, restructuring done by the Malaysian government against uh, the Sabah people. Number two, that Malaysia was illegally formed under a void agreement. Number three, that there have been multiple breaches of the agreement by the Malaysian government since 1963. Number four, we're here today highlight how Petronas, the Federal uh, Petroleum Corporation, has been robbing the people of Sabah and Sarawak of the oil and gas for the last 40 over years. Number five, the formation of Malaysia was the illegal colonization of Sabah and Sarawak. campaigning for the right to self-determination and independence of Sabah and Sarawak. And um, I, have, I have written a letter to the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom um, to congratulate him on Brexit, on the uh, United Kingdom exiting the European Union. I have, I have informed him that the people of Sabah and Sarawak also wish to exit Malaysia like the British exiting the EU. Um, I have informed him that uh, the British government has a continuing obligation and responsibility to ensure that Sabah and Sarawak achieve real independence. Um, especially when the objectives of the Malaysia Agreement have been never carefully honored for the reasons we have provided in the letter. One of the main reasons which we believe that Sabah and Sarawak should be decolonized is that in 1963, the British Malayan Federation plan to form Malaysia has breached the United Kingdom's international law duty to unconditionally decolonize Sabah and Sarawak for independence. And it was done in the, the incorporation of Sabah and Sarawak in the Federation of Malaya was done in a manner inconsistent with their right to self-determination and the free and genuine expression of the will in choosing between federation and independence. The British and Malayan governments had un unlawfully interfered with and exploited the social, economic and political backwardness of the people with assurances and safeguards given as guarantees for self-government, security, development and progress to put pressure on and persuade the colonial leaders to give up independence and accept the proposed Malaysia Federation plan. Furthermore, the Malaysia Agreement 1963 was not validly made because it was void from the beginning. According to international law, only sovereign states have capacity to make international agreements. At the time, Sabah and Sarawak were only colonies and did not have 
but they were not sovereign and therefore had no capacity to make international treaties. The transfer was hasty and improper, and uh, if, if the Malaysia bill was very quickly passed through the British Parliament, Authorize the transfer of Sabah and Sarawak to Malaysia, to Malaya. The transfer has brought about far-reaching and deeply damaging consequences to the people and economy in Malaysia. The people have been subjected to alien subjugation, domination and exploitation detected under emergency laws for almost five decades from 1963 until repealed in 2011. And they have, during this time, suffered the loss of their rights and powers and freedoms. They have implemented Malayanization instead of modernization that is self-rule and autonomy and impose direct control over the people and economy after 55 years under the corrupt and incompetent governance of the Amnu Barisa National Party. The election of the Pakatan Harapan government in 2018 has not brought any meaningful changes. The new government has been paralyzed by internal conflict and inability to inability as it has been unable or unwilling to implement its, its election promises to for the restoration of Sabah and Sarawak MA sixty three rights and powers. The fact that the Sabah and Sarawak MA 63 rights and powers have to be negotiated again after 56 years in the Union and that there is a steering committee to look into the breaches and restoration of rights and the status of Sarawak and Sabah as equal partners in the Federation is itself an admission by the federal government that the formation of Malaysia was tainted by violations. By violations and non-compliance. And indeed, we assert that MA 63, the Malaysia Agreement, was not validly made in good faith in accordance with international law and therefore it is an illegal union. It further underlines the fact there was no meeting of minds and consensus on the terms and conditions for federation. In this regard, in this regard I have written to the Prime Minister of the United, United Kingdom and um, reminded him that he also acknowledged the UK's role to uphold its treaty responsibilities, uh, which he had mentioned in 2019, that he fully backed the Hong Kong democracy protesters, demands, uh, and this uh, treaty responsibility has been most acknowledged by uh, the former foreign minister of the United Kingdom. And as such, we believe that the United Kingdom has a continuing responsibility to ensure that it will assist with the final decolonization of Sabah and Sarawak. Thank you. Independent for Sabah and Sarawak. Independent for Sabah and Sarawak. Independent for Sabah and Sarawak. Woo-ha! Alright.